In our news bulletin for this evening, the official cyclone season starts today until end of April next year and the new meteorological service is reminding the community to be vigilant and prepared. New Year's National Strategic Plan reveals government's 10-year plan that looks at protecting the people and the environment. Concerns for the coconut crab population during this breeding season with reports of undersized harvesting and crabs being run over. Local weightlifting competition to select representatives to overseas competitions. The official cyclone season starts today and the local meteorological office has been quick to send out information with an outlook for the season where the Pacific could expect in between 8 to 10 tropical cyclones. Each year the cyclone season starts on the 1st of November until the 30th of April and tropical cyclones are categorised from 1 to 5, 5 being the most dangerous. Projections for the region are that about six storms are anticipated to reach Category 3 with wind speeds of up to 118 kilometers per hour. Four storms may reach wind speeds of at least 159 kilometers per hour. Cyclones can affect all parts of the Southwest Pacific region and conditions in the equatorial Pacific can change, especially with the La Nina conditions. Tropical cyclones with Category 5 strength experience winds greater than 196 km per hour and are known to occur during seasons like this current one. Acting Director for New Met Service, Rosine Ziappel, encouraged people to continue to listen to radio and watch television for weather updates. Now that cyclo season is upon us, the community is reminded to be vigilant, alert and prepared for any severe events. New Year's 10-year strategic plan is now complete and sets out the government's direction and priorities to achieve its vision of a prosperous New Year. The New Year National Strategic Plan 2016-2026 to was developed over a number of consultations with different key stakeholders as a high-level roadmap setting out government's direction and priorities. The plan was launched during the National Flag Raising Day and the document is being distributed. The mission stated within this document notes that the mission is to build a prosperous Niue responsibly and sustainably to meet social and economic needs and development aspirations while preserving Taonga Niue culture and heritage values and protection of our environment. According to those who developed the plan, it is a plan of people for the people of Niue, who are Niue's biggest resource and asset. There are now seven national development pillars within this plan that include finance and economic development, governance, infrastructure, social services, environment and climate change, Taonga Niue, and an additional pillar that is for private sector. The expectation is that the plan will provide direction for the nation towards prosperity. Concerns have been raised for the coconut crab population due to undersized harvesting and hunting of female ungas during their breeding season. The coconut crab is an iconic species and a local delicacy. Local authorities are trying to find ways to manage this resource conservatively. Breeding season for the females are normally during October to February. And the survival of coconut crabs is dependent on having good numbers of large crabs for spawning as well as foraging. Last year, government banned the export of unga following a survey that indicated that coconut crabs were decreasing in size and numbers. According to the Fisheries Development Officer Nadia Helangi, it takes eight to nine years for a male coconut crab to mature and to produce. As for the females, it takes a bit longer up to 14 years. Although there are regulations in place, it seems that there are some people who continue to take female coconut crabs. This is something that fisheries is looking to change with their ongoing awareness programs. The regulations set out um, include um, uh, prohibiting or pro prohibition of collecting crabs that are less than 36 millimeters and thoracic length, um, crabs that are female and are carrying eggs. Um, 
So yeah, you know, it's, people need to be aware of those regulations. You no, know, we know that there are some individuals in the uh, in the communities who um, who are you know blatantly ignorant um, to conservation or to um, to the consequences of bad practice, you know, because collecting smaller crabs and female crabs, that's that's pretty bad practice, um, in our opinion, as you know, as resource managers. So that's that's a huge concern now uh, for this period because it's migration period, it's a breeding breeding period. Um, if you know, if we have a lot of crabs who are um, who are you know directly involved with uh, populating or increasing the population of ungas. If, if there's a lot of impact on on those in, um, those crabs, then you know we we're looking at a uh, decline in the population in, in the future. Another problem that has been reported or witnessed lately is an increase in the number of coconut crabs that have been run over by vehicles, and the fisheries division is appealing to the community to take care when on the roads. And bear in mind that these female coconut crabs are essential to the survival of the species on the island. The fisheries team will be taking proactive action, monitoring and holding random night patrols along the public roads near the coastline throughout the season to ensure that the coconut crabs reach their destination. The team will continue with their awareness programs to remind people about the importance of maintaining this resource. The New Air Bodybuilding, Powerlifting and Weightlifting Association's 2016 National Championship was held at Clayton's Club last Thursday with the aim of selecting newest representatives to the Asia Oceania Powerlifting Championship to be held in Christchurch, New Zealand next month. Alan Tano, the president of NISCA, said he had seen a transformation of the quality of lifters over a few years and would really like to improve on that in heading towards the 2018 Commonwealth Games in Australia. He is quietly confident that New is on the verge of being medal contenders in the future. One of his immediate goals is to have a lifter from New Air train full-time overseas leading up to the Commonwealth Games in Australia. Another new addition to the New Air team is Sistangalo Ezekiel Nashu, an Auckland resident, who has decided to represent Niue in the future. That concludes our news bulletin for this evening. Do join us again for our next news bulletin on Thursday.